At least 50 Rwandan nationals were intercepted by security personnel in Chibari district on their way to Kagombe Central Forest Reserve aboard a lorry. According to a resident district commissioner, Chibale, Samuel Chisembo, some of the arrested Rwandese obtained Rwandan identity cards, while others could only speak their native Rwanda language. The RDC wonders why non Ugandans are at the center of encroaching on the country's protected forest and poses a question as to who could be the mastermind behind these encroachers. Meanwhile, police in Chibale is hunting a Rwandan national who is suspected to have hacked a National Forest Authority patrol officer, Edward Tusimi, in Kagombe Central Forest Reserve. Tusimi was hacked on the New Year's Day while patrolling the forest. While patrolling, the team encountered illegal loggers in the forest who immediately dispersed to avoid arrest. An illegal logger turned and attacked Tumsime, cutting him with a panga several times. His colleagues responded fast to rescue him, rushing him to Chibale Hospital, where he is now receiving medical attention. Kagombe Central Forest Reserve is slowly turning into a scene of crime where illegal loggers and encroachers who are turning the forest land into farmland are taking a toll on the protected Central Forest Reserve. At the moment, it's estimated that 80% of the total Kagombe Forest Reserve has been encroached on and turned into farm and settlement land. The situation has become worse, especially during this politicking period, and it's vivid that the encroachment levels are intensifying. The challenges of Kagombe and the Chibare Forest were generally cloned by the withdrawal of UPDF security personnel who were giving the NFA security during their patrols of the central forest. According to the acting sector manager, Uziya Ndianabo, it has become difficult for them to make routine patrols in critical areas without security, adding that the attack on their patrol officer was sending a signal of how hostile illegal loggers can be. We still have a challenge of having our own security. We don't have security as a sector, and we can't operate without security. We can't manage to monitor and supervise every activity in every corner of the reserve because some people are even 30 kilometers deep inside the reserve and they are scattered everywhere. So it's not easy to monitor the activities. That's why even a fresh clearing is going on. Another challenge facing the forest reserve is the lack of boundary opening, which has taken NFA more than a year after the court order. Government released about 100 million shillings to specifically open the boundary of Kagombe, but to date, the work remains stalled after procuring a way more surveying and a mapping company to open the boundary a year ago. Sections of the media this week quoted the communications manager of the NFA, Gilbert Cadillo, saying that government took time to release the money and that it also took time for NFA to procure a company to open the boundary. However, the company, which was supposed to have completed the boundary in October 2014, has until today opened hardly three kilometers more than a year later. Steve Mwiri, WBS News.